Hi guys, today we're going to do a quick demonstration of how to set up Fry Factory, the world's first fully automatic egg hatcher or egg incubator or tumbler. It works great for mouth brooding African cichlid eggs and great for L number eggs and catfish. So grab your white motor unit out of the box. You'll see that it has a, sp a spring or a clip on the bottom of it. The triangular section of the clip goes on the outside of the tank. The two legs go on the inside of the tank. The clip won't clip over any more than three centimeters of glass. That's including your lid supports or ribs or, or one and one eighteenth inch of glass. Uh, if you bend the legs, uh, you run the risk of the unit not sitting level. Also, the spring or clip can pop out if you're, if you're forcing it too much. So just go easy on it. Um, once you've got that in position, just push it down a bit so that it can't fall in the tank. Get your white leveling device out of the box. The, hold it so that the flat section is up and place it on the underside of Fry Factory at the very top of the clip. So it runs along the top of the clip. Push it in. It'll sort of slide and clip into position there. Um, push it in as far as it can or till it hits the glass and just leave it there for a moment. We'll use that to level up the nets. So get your nets out of the box now. Put them on the black saddle. Clip them into the black saddle ins inside the tank there. What we really want to see is the black rim of the nets out of the water. We want the clear section in the water, the black rim of the nets out of the water. So once the nets are on, you can push the leveling device in and it'll raise the nets out of the water. If you pull it out, it'll drop them down into the water. Of course, you can take the leveling device out altogether, push the net, push the uh, fry factory down onto the glass as far as it'll go, and you can obviously drain water out of the tank or fill the tank so you've got the nets at the right level. If you keep the black rim of the, the nets out of the water, the fry can't jump out. And it's the, it's the best met way, it's designed to work at, at that level. Um, it's, it, it, the mechanism works really well when the black rim is out of the water. Last thing to do is to get your power supply out of the box. There's four plug heads in there. Obviously select the, the right plug head for your country, your region. Um, slide it down, slide the plug head down on the power supply until it clicks into position. Once it's clicked firmly into position, plug it into the wall, but don't turn it on yet. Get the other end of the power supply and plug it into the tail on Fry Factory. Switch the unit on and then wait 50 seconds. Time it. After 50 seconds, the nets will go down in the water and then pop up again. And it'll do that every 50 seconds on its own automatically. Just like the mother does, she doesn't turn her eggs continually. She shuffles them every now and again. Fry Factory will shuffle your eggs about every 50 seconds. You're now ready to hatch eggs. A couple of more tips. Please read the instructions. It's got lots of helpful hints in it. Don't put any air under the nets. You don't require that. Just have filters in the tank itself away from Fry Factory. Happy egg hatching and I hope you hatch lots and lots of eggs.